It's a fucking weird. I don't think that's... I don't... That's not common, Archon. Mm. <laughs> Have we made uh, the story yet? <laughs> so you guys... Re yeah, you guys make the jeweler. I was just waiting for you guys to finish RPing. Yeah. So you guys make it to the jewelry store. Um, I see in character. <laughs> so you get you hit the scrappers. You you find out the uh, get the scrapper. Uh, you find what looks to be a kind of a good mangier kind of cobalt or not cobalt. Uh, Noel uh, working the store kind of looks over at you. Goes hey, what do y'all want? Oh hello. Uh. I was potentially wondering if you happen to have uh, powdered rubies on your head. Maybe. You got a coin? I do. How much you looking for? Uh, I, I described to him how much I'm looking for, and it should equate to about 50 gold pieces. Hey, so I was like... Check in the back. He kind of wanders off into the back. You just hear some kind of like ruffling and scruffling. A few kind of dings and da bashes. Mm, no, I have not enough. Ah, excellent. I will give you 50. Mm, okay. One, two, three, four. I just gave him the 50 gold. Okay. I was hoping just to exchange some diamonds I have for coin. How much time are you looking for? I will put the little powder diamonds that I have, which what's left of it is 200 gold worth. So you got 200 gold worth of diamonds? Yep. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Gives you 200 gold. Uh, so with that, uh, what else? Anything else you guys doing? To the library. We're inside a shop. Please be a bit more quiet there. Oh, I assume we said that when I said that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of just following quietly. You just hear a store from outside. Mm, stop shouting in the street like a crazy person. <laughs> <laughs> he is a crazy person. Hey, Salazar, you were still loud the first time that he heard you all the way from over here. Oh, sorry. I got excited. I know. No. I'm, I'm kidding. Oh. I think a good voice to project on you is like pretty great. Huh? Or from, project from. I mean, at least you're not thumbercharging your voice. That would be kind of rude. Oh, that'd be so loud. Salazar, your voice carries. I actually don't know that spell. I should learn it. No, oh gosh. I don't think I can learn that spell. Good. <laughs> but I can do this! I don't. <laughs> <laughs> And this is how we get arrested. <laughs> I was gonna say I'm too tired, but I actually had coffee. But he has... <laughs> He's developing self-control. He's developing self-control. Be proud of him. It only took a year. <laughs> I say developing, not developed. <laughs> it's still improvement. But, quickly, who else is coming with us? Because, like, everyone can come to the library if they want to. I'm just, you know, I don't want to bother anyone. Um, Archon. Yeah. Since this is a military town, I'm sure they have a training ground somewhere. True. You can probably hit stuff there. Yeah. No, come to the library. Okay. Oh, Elias has the most shocked <laughs> face. What the fuck? Oh, Elias has the actual <laughs> Pikachu face. <laughs> Surprise, Pikachu. Look, there's a, there's a couple of blinks <laughs> towards Archon. Are we going to what? I, I, mean, I mean, yeah, I just... Um, yeah, 
I, I guess we're going. Um, yeah, yeah. Tell us, are you coming with us? Yeah, I suppose so. If everyone else is going, I cast the tech head thoughts. Head back to the inn alone. This is an emergency. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> so you seriously cast attack thoughts? Yes. Okay. Right I cast mage armor con. beforehand just because <laughs> it's more efficient that way. <laughs> uh, whose thoughts are you detecting? Archon's surface. Not deep. <laughs> just surface thoughts. It's just empty. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Go to the library. I'm like, why? <laughs> why? <laughs> probe, you probably have to probe deeper to get there. Um, are you actually doing that? Yes. Yes. Right. I've already deducted it. <laughs> um, I have mage armor in case he's like kid. <laughs> so Archon, uh, Archon watches you do that, then watches you cast the text thoughts. You've casted it so many times in front of him that he's recognized the spell at this point. <laughs> and, I have casted um, it so many times before, yes. Uh, yeah, so what you hear is uh, you're doing it again, aren't you? I nod. I don't say anything. I just nod <laughs> in your direction. It's not a secret uh, anymore. Yeah, so this is in his head. Alright, look, it's simple. I don't know shit about this land or its gods or any shit like that, so that's why I'm coming. It's better than a day of training. I put, like, my fist on... on. I put a palm and I put my fist on it like, oh! But you can see it on his... And you can I'm see it on his face. Ass. He still doesn't say anything. Um, but... I mean, I just had to make sure you're still, you know, you and not, like, some other person in there. I can just size. Look, I'm not as stupid as you think. I know that. Yeah. Yeah, I've told you that before. Salazar is just looking confused during this whole interaction. Alright, come Especially on, shut since it off. Only one go. person is technically talking. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All of our cons is just like. <laughs> oh, Leos, are you okay? <laughs> And at that point, the spell ends. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm fine. Okay. Okay. Why? <laughs> I look, not realizing that I had only was... He was staring at you and talking to you, but you just weren't saying anything? That was just weird. Oh. Oh. No, it's fine. Okay. Let's, let's go <laughs> to the library. Okay, you guys... <laughs> Head into the library. No, he wasn't talking to Archon, he was talking to his eldritch deity. Yep. By the way, as soon as Salazar starts walking in, he has this look of amazement at the architecture and just starts taking notes. And Celeste, immediately gets yeah. distracted. Celeste looks <laughs> awkward while being in here. Kind of uncomfortable. It's temp- Right, it's a temple Again, library. Again, stay by the door. Like, not go in? No, she's not going in. Okay, okay. Kinda looks back. What's the problem? I just don't really want to be in there. Okay. You're not gonna desecrate this place just by being in here. Out no, that's I think she's, not it. she's about to spontaneously combust. Yeah, because she's part of a cult. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. But it's fine. We're friends. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, do you want me to... The temple's not that big, right? It's like, surely anywhere in the temple is within 100 feet of the door. I mean, close to. It's 100 feet, uh, let me just measure. Actually, that would make sense. Hey kid, where's Lil? Uh, yeah, let's go to like him... the other end, you should be more or less fine. There... Yeah, I have him on my head. So I was just gonna give Lou to tell though. Yeah, do that. Here. Here you go, Lou. Stay by tell at this side. And I'm like just gonna get gentle make panic pat noises. <laughs> if stuff goes wrong somehow. You're really not coming in here. No. Uh, fine. Okay, so you guys enter inside the temple. 
Uh, once again, you see the Beast God statues, uh, various patrons at worship. Uh, once again, you see the head priestess uh, staring uh, over at you. Uh, anything you guys plan on doing? Um, well, first off, Salazar again is just enamored with the architecture here, as it is very different to many of the things he's already seen on this plane. And he's just like going around and just like going up to the statues and like taking notes and drawing to the best of his ability what they look like. Yes, you do. So the high priest just kind of wanders up and goes, "Excuse me, um, may I help you?" Oh, uh, sorry, I got distracted. Um, a friend of mine wanted uh, me to take a look around your library for uh, something. Oh, is it the same uh, young lady who was here the other uh, yesterday? I wave. Yeah, sure. No, uh, well, the library is open for those who wish to uh, view upon it. Ah, okay. Um, I take it all four of you are here for this? He says as he looks at the dragonborn and halfling. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, uh, I know how it looks. We're together. Well, uh, we uh, believe in unity here, so that is uh, more than okay. If you wish to go in and do some research and reading, uh, you are more than helpful to. We just uh, do ask you to not remove any of the books from the library and temple. Cool. That's fair. Mm -hmm. Thank you for your hospitality. I look over at Archon. I don't think they're that surprised of you, actually. Since this is a military town, you're the most military-looking guy here. Mm, out of probably. the four of us. Uh, yeah, it's more you. Well, you look like a city kid. I for sure am, especially with these new dapper clothes from Salazar. The <laughs> mm. uh, high priestess just kind of looks at the pair of you talking about this. Is, uh, it's not odd that you're in the temple. It's just none of you are beast people except, and I don't think I've ever seen the goat man's type before you said type of offshoot of scent uh minotaur there's a new one but no i am a satyr i am from the feywilds oh i didn't think those still existed <laughs> they do well it's okay Otic, but they do well i suppose you're more than welcome to use the library then thank you which direction is the library ma'am Oh, uh, to the east. Alright. Thank you. You have sections also, are they marked? Uh, we do have a system for uh, sections, yes. Alright. Also, um, nice to meet you. I'm Atlius. I go shake her hand. Oh, uh, yes. I'm a uh, High Priestess uh, Kilesta. Kilesta. Miss Kilesta, nice to meet you. Okay. Thanks for letting us use the library. You are quite welcome. And, uh, please, uh, do watch out over yourselves. And may the gods bless okay. you. May the gods bless you, too. Hey. I awkwardly walk away as I'm not really <laughs> sure of the custom. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys head into the library. Yes. Uh, once again, you find... A fair good sized library, lots of books, hundreds upon hundreds of them. Um So who's doing what here? I'm aiding Celeste and whatever she's doing. I'm really trying to find out more about it, what it is. Uh Argon. I'm, I'm prioritizing this culture's uh, well, culture and religion. Uh, okay, so you're looking for religious texts, and the other three are going to be uh, rolling for researching for uh, hmm. uh, the culture uh, and religion. Like. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And before I start, I'm just going to take a feather and just sort of like wave it in front of my face, and then I'm going to cast enhanced abilities upon myself. Okay. Uh, the three of you may roll me investigation checks. Arc on you as well. Mm -hmm. I give Celeste. I help Celeste and give her advantage. I have a like, dude. That, that's 
that's not worth it. I have a plus zero. You, you like can this. all just roll individually. Or... <laughs> sure, I'll roll. <laughs> I'll roll myself. Roll. It's always uh, giving me advantage. That's fine. Damn. Uh, I get an 18 heath. So that's 25. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> God, I wish I was the Portance Wizard. Archon, you start looking through textbooks. You're like... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 Archon, no. <laughs> like a five. You... I mean, it's just very you, dense. You can find stuff on the religious stuff, but as far as like anything with some like good details, you get into some of the mythology. Your you would your existing consists of like. Yeah, the, the, the beast gods came low to the land to teach the beast people how to live their lives in unity, uh, led by the uh, uh, head uh, god uh, with the elephant. Uh, you guys go, there's a lot of stuff here. And, and as culture goes, uh, this is the youngest kingdom in the lands, uh, was only formed a few centuries, like about six centuries ago. Uh, is still relatively still expanding and creating lots of stuff happening, but like there are so many gods. Like there, you find out the the most mm. important thing you find out. There's about 32 beast gods. Okay, and the main like there are primary ones and then like secondary ones who are less worshipped. Yeah, oh, they're all. It's it's less that they're less worshipped, but it's kind of more like how a lot of. Uh, polytheistics is like you pick which one fits mm. you best there are yeah. the, there are the ones that are like very high up as in like they're the ones that lead and then there's the ones that have their own specific like uh side state right yeah gotcha so any in particular that would catch my eye fit me look interesting uh just the ones Off you that remember before cool uh, nothing new specific, not with a five. You start reading yeah. the names and you just start going glassy eyed after a while. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Mm -hmm. Fucking Leo. And what was the fucking sheep girl's name? Again? Whatever. It's not fucking worth it. And I'm just growling under my breath. Like... <laughs> the three boys over here are just kind of like mulling over paperwork, like, like Salazar and like Celeste <laughs> finding almost nothing. Well, yeah, Celeste. Oh, I yeah. Can 14. Hold it's, on. It's, it's good. It's good. Well, like, like a big <laughs> brain Otlius. Yeah, you're you're looking, but you're like, Ugh. like once again, Celeste, you're back on your glass here. Nothing. Uh, Salazar, you find some various books on a few religious ornaments, but nothing out of the ordinary. It's all Greek to you, anyways. You, you, you I mean, I'm to... just enjoying learning about the culture. Uh. Of I mean, you're not learning mm -hmm. about the culture. You're looking Vibing. for specific things. So you're learning about, like, amulets. You're, lo you're looking for, like, uh, symbolisms. So you find Ooh, some books. This one's pretty. Right? Uh, most of it goes over your head because you just find a book that says this symbol means this, this symbol means that in for certain religions. Uh, Atlius, uh, you had a 23, you said. 25. Oh, 25. 18 plus 7. Yep. Okay, uh, you had a 25. So you're 25... Um, I have a feeling it's over here. Your 25 yeah. basically means um, you find some very specific books about some ancient civil religions. Uh, you go deep delve. You find nothing on about this uh, amulet you guys found under the sea. So with that 25, you can extrapolate that it is either a so ancient that it predates written written down history in written this library text. or this or this uh this library is incomplete obviously like it is the youngest kingdom so it's not like they have oodles of ancient yeah. history texts or it's also possible mm -hmm. this is something brand new and thus there is no text to be written about it right okay for all you know this is part of tell's cult well, but Tell didn't recognize it, so it's surely not part of Tell's cult. It could be Celeste's cult. Yeah, but you weren't aware of that either. Unless you were like... Why is everyone part of a cult? <laughs> mm hmm. All I know is... For sure... Maybe minus... The boys minus Salazar of the party, not in a cult. 
Wait, I'm not in a cult. I'm not sure, man. I'm not sure. <laughs> You're from the Feywilds. I think that's cult central. <laughs> Wow. Um, sure. I'd say I mean, that to, tell to that to the last. Worshipping an ancient fey makes you a warlock, which is almost the definition of cult in D and D. This is a worship of fey. <laughs> but you are a fey. You are. Wait, a fey. wait, wait. Going by that, does that mean Otlius is a single-handed cult? Because <laughs> I'm an <laughs> elder <laughs> Duh. Yeah, remove yourself from that minus Salazar shit. All right. <laughs> Uh, I'm not in the cult. Obvious, the cult is for me. <laughs> that technically, it's obvious it's two ways because he's got the eldritch being and then he's got his fey waifu. It's waifu. True. We're gonna adopt so many warlocks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Warlock babies. He's like, oh, look at the little guy say, throwing uh, eldritch blast out the window. <laughs> <laughs> they just play baseball with all just, class. It just makes me think of the like the one of the opening scenes for Legend of Korra, where Korra is like a baby and like running around just throwing the elements everywhere. Yeah. Right. <laughs> oh he casted his first hex. So adorable. Oh he summoned his pack weapon. It's a little rattle. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> plot, plot twist. This is actually Salazar and Celeste talking about Arkham. Yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah. That doesn't make any fucking that sense. That doesn't make it. any sense. Oh, I, I got nothing. A rattle of death. But... <laughs> Sal Salazar gets Arkham finally right. stops bitching about not having magic and becomes a warlock. Oh my god. Uh, Salazar eventually gets done with it, finished reading his book, and he's like, Huh. Did you know that in some cultures, the sun is a symbol of life, but in others, it is a symbol of wrath? Mm-hmm. Because fire. Oh, Celeste. By the way, I found nothing about Great. this. This uh. amulet of yours. So it's either I... three, three things. Either this library, they just don't have it here, because maybe it's like... You know, it's a young country, mm -hmm. and they don't have the information here. Or, either the amulet is so old that there was no one around that could write stuff. Like, it predates written, the written word. Or, it's so new that no one has had the chance to write about it yet. I have no idea. I didn't find much either, so... It's okay, let's just think that we should leave for right now, because... Yes. Oh, that reminds me. That was fun. I put my books back where I found them. So that, I took, that was about three hours of research, because it takes a long okay. time. Uh, tell if up. Well, tell there for three I've hours. I've literally been oh, just standing torture. outside the temple for three hours. I should probably would have sat down somewhere, but yeah. Okay, I'm gonna say at some point, Calesta, the high priestess, is gonna like notice any half elf just standing outside her temple, sitting in the <laughs> sitting <laughs> down as she approaches you after about an hour. It goes, um, excuse me, uh, are you okay? I'm fine, just waiting for my friends. You wouldn't want to possibly wait inside, would you? <laughs> no, it's fine. Kind of looks you up and down, just like, just leaning against the temple <laughs> wall, sitting in the stone, <laughs> literally in the, in the, like, the street, dirt, like, this, this is not a grassy area. <laughs> um, well, if you're certain you would be more comfortable out here, I suppose I, um, won't stop you, but, uh, you are welcome to uh, sit inside where we have chairs. <laughs> <laughs> I thank you for the offer. Yeah, well, uh, do take care of yourself. And she will kind of like wander back in, kind of looking over her shoulder like, I know elves were weird, <laughs> but this takes it to a new level. Also, <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, Wilcrum, you're still over at the inn. Damn, you there?
And oh, the... yeah, he still got his phone call on. I see that. Yeah. Uh, hey, well, okay, so you three, what you guys finished off with your research, uh, you exit mm -hmm. the building together. Uh, you see Dev sitting in the floor, uh, sitting on the ground after three hours waiting for you. Hello. Oh my god. Tell us, though. You, you didn't have to do that. Are you okay? Oh, fine. Okay. You good? Mm-hmm. That was like, a long time. That's just some quality time with Lou. Do you like the scritches, buddy? Did you get plenty of scritches from Talitha? <laughs> I guess actually we forgot there's one other animal that would have been worth I was about to say, like, oh yeah, how's that guy doing? <laughs> Following us around, or? I mean, as far as I know, tell his mama at this point. Yeah, pretty much. This bandit is just curled up in Tell's lap the entire time, I'm assuming. <laughs> Yep. Bandit better not eat the lure, or I will just, you know. Nah, tell the way to stop him from trying to eat Lou if he tries. <laughs> <laughs> Tempting as it is. He is he is eyeing up Lou though. There, there's no doubt that a baby a oh, yeah. mm. the cub would not be like oh, Lou. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Lou, come back. Kept the cat off the owl for like three hours. That's kind of impressive. Mm -hmm. But tell this good good animal handling. As we're walking out, Celeste will just kind of just gently tap Archon's shoulder. He'll look over his shoulder. Um, I heard Tell talking about a training area. Would you like to go next? You don't seem the physical type. No, but I can practice my magic. And I have some physical capabilities. Not much. All right. Um... Out of character, whenever I'll at least cast something, do they seem like distrustful of magic here, or not knowing what the fuck is going on, or...? I mean, he hasn't been casting spells left, right, or center, or anything. True, but he casted two while we were in the middle of the street. I did I... cast two. Mage on I mean, That's... one would not be stairs. recognizable by uh, anybody with read thoughts. I mean, he would have took out and casted a spell, but nobody would know what it means. And the other thing, he's got shimmering armor on him as he casts mage armor. Um, people kind of noticed it, but you gather, this is a military town, every military's got magic users, otherwise they're not going to last long. <laughs> um, is that like, he's So they're not, like, for, they're not a culture that frowns upon magic use in their military, rather. No, they, they don't have any issues with magic in, in the king. None of the kingdoms really do, because if you frown upon magic use in your military, you're not going to survive very long in this culture. Especially with a high, like, military-run countries. Like, all the countries use magic in their military. Um, oh, Arkham, before you go off the train, uh, question for you. Um, your shield, we had discussed uh, creating a light source from it. Uh, what color did you want it to be? Oh, go white. Archon? Dead. Archon, no! You're... Uh, Avalon? There he oh, is. having a net issue. Oh, he's fun to have net issues. You there, Avalon? Do we need to move to the games channel again? Uh, if it's just Avalon, I mean, it's, it's, just not, the, it's Avalon. not the chat, man. Kill it all! Nope, still like, can't. Is like, your mic plugged like in? Did you, fully... Is your mic unplugged by any chance? I assume he can Hello? Oh, There we go. Hello! Hello. That was yeah. weird. Okay. Because I turned my mic down somehow. Alright, hmm. sorry. Did you hear uh, us, though? Yeah, I did hear you perfectly. Okay. Um, so, um, that was the last thing that was said? What uh, color do you want the light? Oh, uh, just a regular color of flame. I thought about white, but we go into a cave and that shit's gonna be like a beacon. What about blue? 
That's that was even more noticeable. I suggested white just so well, no, I mean, you know you can get fire all the is colors. Hot, the fire is hotter. You could also go green. green and that would be like... noticeable. I mean, any light in a dark spot will be noticeable despite the yeah. color. That's the point. I, I just like that he's right that red would be the least noticeable, and everyone's like, "Bart, you got all." <laughs> well, red is the least noticeable. I'm suggesting white so that you can get all the colors. But that's all. Red, red would also like highlight the least. Like you'd be able to see, but you wouldn't be able to tell much. I mean, yeah, that's not how the could... light spell works, guys. It just creates light. You don't have fucking color filters. <laughs> Let's like, continue a flame. Uh, yeah. Well, then it's a flame. You don't. It's not like you have a color coding on that either, is it? Does it say you get the color? No, but I'd like to imagine mm -hmm. I do. Yeah, it's just flame. I'm not going down this route with you. <laughs> oh. Not going down this um, dumb route. You. It is just I, flame. <laughs> I don't think it yeah, is. So. It's a dumb Just route because color, you guys are going to argue that, oh, maybe it's, like, less stealthy. It's like, I'm not going down that route. <laughs> it's just <laughs> Well, that's our thought process, but yeah, fair yeah. enough. <laughs> uh, Just the same old flame wants to look like a torch, so we'll give it I can away. change its color with thaumaturgy. <laughs> you can. Okay. Sure. Uh, yeah. Do you, need, do you need my shield or something? Uh, yes, I do. Alright. So, pull it off and just hand it to him. Alright. Give me a second. And I will take a piece of cloth. And I will pour the... I will just kind of sprinkle the ruby dust along the shield. Put the cloth over it and just start rubbing it back and forth. And just faster, faster, faster until I just pull it away and your shield is now on fire. Just wow, like that, object huh? mancy. Just like that. Surprises me every single time. Alright, okay. like, So that will button. be lit 24-7. 24-7 seven. Yep. Mm. does not consume oxygen, uh, cannot yeah. be extinguished by normal means. Yeah, no, it, you, it, can only be di it can only be either dispelled or tell you dispel it. Yep. It I can mean, be you can cover covered. It. Yeah, you can cover or hide it. Yeah, well, this, like... This, uh... Let's make the it shield doesn't magical. I hear that like magical stuff can't be destroyed. So, it I mean, not. it, it can't <laughs> be dispelled. Oh, right. yeah, man. it doesn't make it any durable. I don't think. No, it will. Um, it's just the ruby powder on it ignites and will stick to your shield, so it does not fade. Um, the shield itself is non-magical. Yes, the shield just not right. holds the ruby. Yeah, still works. All right. Cool. I hope you enjoy. <laughs> mm. Is that annoying? I just kind of like look at Archon, and, like imagining him wield it. Just. But at least it's light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is. Just I gotta keep reminding myself that's not actual fire. <laughs> you will get used to it. Hmm. So to yeah. the training placey? Yeah, Can sure. I, mean, I assume there's one. I don't know where it could be. Oh, but it's more like, are we allowed to use it? I, well, I don't know. We're not going to find out until we ask. Who we're going to ask, I don't fucking know. But... Someone military looking? Probably. Hello, <laughs> Mr. Random Passerby. Everyone's military looking, <laughs> kid. I'm going... I'm actually going to get the, <sighs> the majority of people are military. There are non-military folk. There are kids in here too. It is still a town and a city. Okay. I like asked everybody. Her... It is just primarily military. It's like right. it's I like it's like a, a fort guard. town in, a, in in America, right? Like it's called Fort Whatever, but and it's got a fort military base in it, but it's still a town too. All right. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm actually going to. Um... Because if Get it was straight work, military, right? you wouldn't have an inn, and you wouldn't have a gem shop. You guys wouldn't be able to trade here. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to um, actually start to work on a project. Um, so you guys can go on ahead without me. But You're going back to the inn? Yes, uh, perhaps Wilcom would like to give me a hand. Mm -hmm. 
Did you figure out where the hell it is this time? Yes, this time I am aware of the path. <laughs> um, yeah, just ask a guard the direction, I guess, and if normally people are allowed to use it. Okay. Other people. Not you, you, you stop this large Loxodon soldier walking by and play it, and he just goes, You want to know about our training arena? Mm-hmm. And you want to use our training arena? Mm-hmm. Are you part of the military? No, that's why I'm asking if non-military people are allowed to. Generally, no, unless you have special dispensation from the general or sub such. Oh, uh, okay. I look back towards Archon. I don't know how far away he is. <laughs> probably probably close. Feet. Yeah, probably close by. Close enough to hear you speak to make sure you don't do something. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Um, thank you, sir. It's okay, citizen. Uh citizen and be about your business mm -hmm. so we just go and ask someone official well probably gonna have to ask a higher up like the general yeah he said like no no no, no general all right well, normally it's only for military people and it's kind of fair yeah and we're not walking back in there just to ask about that. No. Yeah. By the time even all that would even probably be processed, we'd likely just be going back to the end anyway. Yeah. We can just ask one of his like subordinates or something. It doesn't have to be from him exactly. I'm yeah, sure it's still have the streets as well. uh, processed though. I, I mean just yeah. not like find a quiet spot and do it anyway. I tell you what, at least roll me an investigation. Oh god, no! Uh, as you were talking and looking about trying to figure this out, oddly, uh, you hear a rather familiar, blusterous voice coming from behind. Oh! It is, it's your lot again! As you see Captain Billow walking towards you. Oh, no. oh, hi, Captain Billow. Can we use the training grounds you have? <laughs> you want to use the training grounds, do you? Get a little exercise in before heading down into the deeps. Then maybe not a bad idea. I suppose I mm -hmm. can take gotta stay there. sharp, you know. Haha. -ha. I was heading down that way myself, so I suppose it's more than happy to take you with me. Oh, thank oh you. awesome! Shit, I could not be more wrong. <laughs> I'm literally walking the streets. <laughs> they, I mean, they, this is a military town. Uh, Why is this? Why is this a surprise? Why is he surprised that I'm walking in my own streets? <laughs> it's nothing, it's just, I just said it and then you popped up and it was funny. Oh, well, I mean, coincidence and all that. Yeah. Yeah, sure, coincidence. I looked towards her. <laughs> Magic fate, that's all. Who can who can judge how narrative causality works? <laughs> <laughs> the stars have aligned. Uh, okay. <sighs> so the three of you uh, are led by Captain Billows towards the uh, training area. I think you mean four. Four, four? yeah. Uh, my mistake. That's <laughs> <laughs> fine. Actually, it was Dev, I forgot, because Dev hasn't been saying much, too. But yeah, I see four of you head towards wow. the battle of the training arena. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you get down there and you find a uh, basically a bunch of military men. You see uh, basic training men. You see people in uh, practice uh, mock fights. Uh, you see target ranges being fired at by archers. Nice. No. I was actually thinking of something to teach you. Yeah. Was it to me? Just, well, yeah. For he is talking. He is talking to you, but he's not looking at you at the moment. Okay. Uh, I just assume you're talking to me. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't look at you either. I just look at the training ground. I'm like, um, what do you mean? So, oh, fuck, he's not here. God damn it. 
We can be your assistants. Yeah, but you're more of the magical type. You know how to use a sword. I can summon one. Yeah, that Wow. Works. It only <laughs> lasts for so long, though. I mean, we don't need it for a long time. Like a okay. fake sword? It's a shadow sword. Oh. Cool. Shadow sword. Here, foot footprints approaching as welcome comes running around the corner is king <laughs> no it's not welcome <laughs> doesn't give a shit about shadow that's why i said as cam <laughs> yeah he said welcome he said, no, no, said welcome, welcome comes around, around the corner as cam <laughs> uh Raznoth just apparates my god I don't, I don't have any spells that create weapons like that, but I can make a big ball of fire. I can make and a big roll ball. it around. I can make a big ball of like necrotic energy. I can hold people in place. I can curse people. I can make myself go a bit faster. I can shoot people, and make them go a bit far away. Damn, that's a lot of shit. Oh, I'm. I guess it's not much, but it's a little bit, yeah. yeah. It's magic for you. I don't have much. You can read thoughts, which is just kind of scary. But really, it's not that big of a deal. Mm -hmm. And I can switch my form, which well, it will enhance my ability to hit people better, actually, with the weapon that I have. Hmm. Well, what was your idea, Arkham? So, where's the captain right now? Has he just walked on, or is he still no, he's, the... he, he took away by over by looking over to be training soldiers. He's nearby. <laughs> Got it. Uh, yeah, fuck it, he's busy. We can do this. Alright, so I'm gonna find a, uh, just a space. An applicable space for the bunch of us that isn't getting in anyone's way. I imagine that's easy. Yeah, it's not that difficult. There's lots of training yeah. areas. Alright. Alright, so take out your dagger, kid. Okay. I take out my dagger, and I go into... I just go straight into the position without prompting that you told me. There you go. Alright, so what I'm going to teach you is... I don't know, let's say you're... Uh, I was planning for Welcome to Be, but let's say he's around. Okay. And, uh, you both are on the ground next to each other, and something starts attacking one of you. What I want you to do is... Come at me. I'm gonna- I'm gonna teach you how to feint a strike. What that's gonna do is hopefully you're gonna make enough movement to catch the enemy's eye, distract them, so that Welcome can get a good hit. I can oh. step in for Welcome. Yeah, that was the plan. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, sure. I can use my dagger, or I can use my weapon that I have, uh, whichever which you prefer. Hmm. You know how to, uh... How to stop a strike, yeah? I don't hold back. Mm. It will hurt a little bit, but I can hold back. Alright, let's go with the dagger. Okay. Okay, so he's gonna just kind of like, he's gonna look to Alias and, all right, come on, just step right up to me. Okay. Absolute focus from the coffee. <laughs> <laughs> he walk, he walks up to you. Black coffee. <laughs> Straight um... black coffee. <laughs> no nonsense. He's ready for training. All right, so what yeah, you're going to you... do is you're going to get into your stance and you're going to try to hit me. The thing is, you're going to learn how to uh, how to hold back a strike, so you fucking know what that means. Stop the dagger before you hit my scales. Okay. What you want to do is make it look a little show where you're trying to grab my attention so Celeste over there can charge on it and get me a good hit. Okay. So my purpose is not 
to injure you, but to just snatch your attention away from Celeste or Welcome or whatever. Exactly. Okay. 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 I think you can do that. All right. So, come on, do it. Yeah, go for a swing. But I right. attempt to do what you say and like just like near miss, I guess. Yeah. Probably like the help action. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's what I'm teaching. That's him. the yeah, that's the <laughs> Uh, he's unlocking the help action for me. Like yeah. he unlocked the dodge action. <laughs> Training session. Um, yeah, so I can just gonna no. It's it's more like this, and he's gonna just just his claws are gonna gleam for a second, and he's gonna like faint to slash at you, and he's just gonna like stop like a, a like half a foot away from your head, something like that. <gasps> just stop. I have actually flinched <laughs> at the thing. I'm, like, I'm not gonna hurt you, kid. Don't worry. About it. No, 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 I, I, I get that, but it's, um, yeah, yeah. okay, I, I see what you mean. You got that. Sure. Want to try one more time? Yep. I go for a direct, just piercing attack, but uh, I, I attempt to stop. Well, <laughs> 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 uh, that work? like... Should I go next? All right, yeah, Celeste, your turn. All right, so what you're gonna, two are going to do is you're going to work at the same time and. Oh, I. <laughs> yeah. So. Thank him. <laughs> you just thank him. Thank, thank, thank him. <laughs> no, she wouldn't have hit him or anything. It's like she's like. Yeah, yeah. She she's about to like get like a good hit on him on like near his like his like 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 shoulder or something, and then she yeah. immediately stops and it's like oh. Was I not supposed to? Sorry, sorry. No, it's fine. It's that's what you're supposed to do. All right. So okay. again, kid first, the last second. I just lunge before you even finish the sentence. <laughs> I just, I just <laughs> lunge. <at you. laughs> All right. So Arkan is actually going to try to avoid this time. So yeah, attack with advantage. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> I'm helping Celeste. <laughs> Wait, do I get? Do I take him with advantage? Yeah. Uh, yeah, he's using She's the help action. Yeah, for I'm, you. I'm using my help action. All right. Yeah, so that just barely beats his AC. So yeah, just um, clinks off one of his scales, and yeah, you got this. All right, let's keep going. And that's ah! just... <laughs> <sighs> sneak <Sigh>. attack. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's gonna go on like that for a while. <laughs> yeah. At least yeah. just yelling at Archon. Okay, meanwhile. I, I do a lot of different strategies on <laughs> how to help. Okay. Uh, meanwhile, back at the inn with uh, Welcrum. Uh The party's been gone for a couple uh, for a couple hours at this point, Welcrum. Uh, but as you didn't know, you do see um, Tussling kind of walked in and goes, Ooh, um, Mr. D -D Welcome. Uh, you, uh, still into, uh, in the end, this is odd. You're not with everyone. Cam, you there? See, Cam, leave again. So, no, sorry. My dad keeps yelling at me because he just doesn't. He refuses to acknowledge the fact that I'm talking with people. I had to keep. I had to pull my headset headset off four times in a row because he kept yelling at me. I apologize. That's no worries, Cam. Everything okay? <laughs> nah. Yeah, yeah. He just, you know, he keeps trying to talk to me even though I'm trying to do something. So uh, sorry. What was happening? Uh, basically, um, what happens is, um, uh, uh Tuslin has come down to chat to you at the end. Oh, okay. And was just asking where. Uh, is it... Uh, what are you doing here, Mr. Wilkerson? I suppose you're not with the rest of them. Uh, I just want to do a um, kick back a bit. I figure, what's the worst I can get up to in a military town? You know, they'll get thrown in prison or something. That's fine. I suppose that could be possibly one of the worst things. I suppose it could be worse than that, but I doubt it could be much worse. Yeah, so here I am. No. Oh, well, so last I heard, they would go into a library or something. 
So, so uh, figured it'd be more comfortable here. Oh, fair enough. Uh, so all of you are heading off to mm, the Dwarven uh, City tomorrow, tomorrow morning, correct? Mm, yes, yeah, that's correct. Uh, it should, should be quite a bit. I guess I'll have to wait here for you till you get back. Yeah, uh, well, sorry about that. No, oh, it's quite all right. Um, the important stuff and all that. Um, helping the nation and everything. Yeah, you know, things kind of just fall into our laps like that. Well, I'm sure you will do a fine job over there, especially um, Mr. Otlus, I'm sure, will be a great help. I sure hope he's a greater help than he is a hindrance. Oh, yes, well, I suppose so. But, uh, I suppose everything's yeah. going quite well for everyone, though. I think so. So, what are you gonna do while we're, uh, in oh, Thalenhind? Supposedly just, uh, hang around town. I'm so big, city. I, uh, I'm sure that I can find things to do. Yeah, I'm sure you could. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem like the most profitable city for a trader such as yourself. No oh, way. Uh, Fair enough, but uh, give me an opportunity where you can find it, right? Uh, take a bit of a vacation, yeah. maybe. <laughs> yeah, clearly, you've gotten this far by being good at what good at what you do. Yes, although this far is a bit weird with my, with my wares gone and uh, having to rely on your good nature to take me back to uh, the capital. Yeah, well, at least you got the most important thing intact. Indeed. My savings. Ah, well, <laughs> yeah, that's fair. <laughs> I was, I was more thinking you, but that also is fair. <laughs> oh yes, Mister uh, Wilcombe, you are correct. I was just having a bit of fun with you. <laughs> <laughs> he um, he just cracks a grin and just takes a, a sip of his mysterious. Early morning beverage. Yeah. What is he drinking? Is it is it alcohol? Is it coffee? Is it orange juice? Nobody knows. I think it's apple juice. It's not. Well. Yeah. Anyway. So do I walk in? <laughs> yeah. After you and Tuslin having a couple hours of chat, uh, eventually uh, Salazar walks in. Oh, hello. Oh, I'm back. And walk around and looks over his shoulder. Uh, well, it could be worse. At least you know how to be quiet. Yes. Well, I can be. But uh, the others are going to be doing some training at the, uh, with the arena. Oh. No, the uh, the arena, huh? I believe so. Or at least that's what I presume. It seems like there's a lot of fighting in that area, so. But, um, I'm actually here to work on a project. Oh, well, have fun. Ah! Fuck. <laughs> well, I, heard you are, I heard that you are a good smith. Would you like to assist by any chance? I uh, I suppose I could if you need the extra set of hands. Sure, company and a spare set of hands is always nice. All right, but I'm bringing my drink with me. That's the set. Have fun with you, dude. Ah, well, thanks, Dustin. So, what exactly is it that you're working on? Well, right now, uh, Tesla had asked me to make something for Arkham. Uh, she wanted me to make a... Oh, and this must stay a secret. But she asked me to make a javelin for Arkham that would uh, return to his hands once he's thrown it. Okay. Yeah, I can see. I can see that. Didn't he just get a boomerang? He did, but... Correct me if I'm wrong, Heath. It doesn't come back to him if he hits someone, right? Like, it hits and then it goes plop. 
The, yeah, if he misses, it comes back to him. Gotcha. Okay. Right. Well, uh, all right. Couldn't you just... Okay. Maybe this is a dumb question. Couldn't you just enchant a pre-made javelin? Well, it's easier for me to enchant something if I've already sort of laid in the sort of uh, rune work and whatnot. Yeah. Fair enough. Fuck, you'd get along well with those eggs he egg heads back in Dallin End. <laughs> Wait, are we heading that way or...? Yes. Dallin Hind is the Dwarven country. Am I pronouncing that right? Yeah, Dallin Hind. Okay. Well, perhaps, perhaps if we need something from them, I can be of assistance. Oh, uh, no, they're not going to be that forthcoming with anything. You just would have gotten along well with them if dwarves weren't so stubborn and isolationist. <laughs> Sorry, can you repeat that for me? What surprises me, considering that you do not seem to such. Mm. Kind of like... Kind of just like, looks at Salazar for a good long minute. Interesting you would say that. Well, I mean, you are talking to me, are you not? I mean... Technically. <laughs> <laughs> Come, let us let us make this object. All right. Uh, is there? I'm assuming in a military town, it's not too hard to find a place where we could smith some stuff. The one that would let you smith some stuff might be a little harder. Again, military means it's for the military mostly. Yeah, I'm sure we can figure it out. We just need to we just need to invest in a porter forge. Uh I'll no. say though, roll me an investigation. You know, that's not a bad idea. Twenty five. Okay. Uh you do find a place that does uh let you but you're gonna they are gonna charge you two gold to use it. Hmm. Okay. I paid the gold. Are... Okay, uh, they will give you the gold. You pay the gold, you now have the forge for the day. For the rest of the day. It's already been like, what? Fucking. Yeah, it's, it's like, getting like 3 hours. p.m., 4 p.m. right now. But you gotta have to make a spear or make a javelin. As long as you don't fuck up your rolls. <laughs> Alright. So. 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 Here's what I was thinking for the design, and I, Salazar starts kind of going to smithy talk, and kind of explains what he was thinking about how to go about this uh, project. Well, Walkram just crosses his arms and listens and nods along, and everything beyond the mundane creation just kind of goes over his head, and he doesn't even attempt to understand it. Oh, he, Salazar's not going into the enchanting work yet. He's just kind of saying, this is what I need to, for the inscription and the sort of like uh sort of like way the metal is supposed to like like have grooves in it and stuff like that yeah welcome might point out one or two suggestions for like location and ergonomics and other things but for the most part he'll just sit back and just be an extra set of hands when you ask for it all right he, he finishes off his Mystery Liquid and then pours some of his travel ale. Oh no, he finished it off. He needs to buy more. Never mind. He doesn't have any travel ale left. <laughs> okay, so roll me a Smith check. Can Got I it. just give him advantage because yeah. I'm proficient? Cool. 20. Hey, that's Thank enough you. to build a decent, uh, I mean, the DC-10, man, it's a javelin. <laughs> you, you build a nice javelin. It does take you a few hours still, because time is time to forge it and get it, the woodwork down. Uh, for the inscription, roll me a smith tools check with dexterity. Okay. Okay. 
Oh, uh, advantage still, since he's still helping? Yeah, it doesn't matter. That was enough to succeed. Again, well, not... If, okay. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you mailed a, uh, it works out well. Oh. Thank you. As I, as I kind of hold up the finished product, admiring our work. Thank you. You have been of great assistance. That's, uh, quite alright. How long, how long does this take us to make? It takes us the rest of the day? Yeah, it does take, I mean, again, it takes time to build something, so it does take you the rest of the day. There's only a few hours left yeah. in the day regardless. Yeah. Yeah, and I kind of toss it to you. Excellent balance. I'll grab it and I'll give it like a little twirl and a quick like jab in the general direction where nothing precarious is located. <laughs> yeah, not not off bad. You are a, you are a very good smith. I didn't really do that much. Truth be told, I haven't really done much smithing since I went to Mardonio. Well, maybe I don't have some spare time. I wouldn't mind doing this again. Uh, maybe. Yeah, I believe I owe you a drink if my if I understanding of your customs are correct. I mean, look, you don't have to ask me to do anything to owe me a drink. So get you one? Yes. Alright. And we will head back, I assume. Okay. So okay. you guys head back to the inn where I'm assuming everybody's heading back to at this point because it is like yes. 8 p.m., 9 p.m. at night. Just mm -hmm. full yes. contact. Welcome's absolutely on Sentinel and is just. He's doing that thing where his pace is slightly faster than Salazar's natural pace. <laughs> All right, I'll keep up. Not really noticing that you're doing this on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you guys get back to the inn. Uh, gather yourselves together where you're all meet up. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Mm. Looks, looks to the left. Looks to the right. Uh, only you'd see one of me. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, Archon taught me this thing that, will, that I can help you. At least it wasn't Alivor teaching you something. Mm. Yeah, it's like, I distract them and then BAM, you get them. Like, I don't have a dagger because I'm starting to be responsible now, but I do make... Oh, them. you mean like that over there? And he points like over Otlius' shoulder? What do you mean? I turn around. <laughs> I flick you on the side of the head. <laughs> yeah, 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 I guess. Wow, that's effective. <laughs> Doesn't usually work so well in the middle of a fight, but... You'd be shocked how many nobles fall for it. Shit. Me and my sister used to do this thing where one of us would get behind someone and crouch down, and the other person would push them and topple them over on the other person. Yeah, that was a favorite of the noble's fucking little demon spawn offspring. <laughs> but, uh, usually they did it to peasants that couldn't fight back. No, oh, that's not so much fun. Oof. Yeah, well, you know. Kids are not that bad. Kids are terrible. Kids are They're awful. Terrible. I like to think that kids are nice. I mean, kids are okay, but it's more like the potential. Terrible. Look, a kid is only what they're raised to be. No, yeah, that's exactly. fair. I like to think that kids hold endless potential. Look, they're still fucking just f food vacuums and money sinks and time sinks and just gen generally a pain in the ass to take care of. There we go. But I thought you were getting philosophical for a second. Everything we were all children once! What a fucking mistake that was. <sighs> Come now. 
You're telling me you do not wish for the kids of your own one day? No. I am. Not with the shit I've seen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pretty much. So what the hell have you been doing? I'm drinking, and I order a drink. <laughs> All day? What, did you expect something else? Just thought you might get bored and do something else. I can do things while drinking if I get bored. Okay, you know what? That's fair. Hmm. I'm gonna... As, as the bar tender like, hands me a drink, I just point at Salazar. I give a thumbs up. <laughs> I'm wait. I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna roll a sleight of hand to try and do something. Okay. I'm just gonna public it because it's, it's entirely possible that I completely fuck this up because of my deck. You might as well public it because you announced it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. Cool. Hey, fellas, what's your passive? I don't like you ask that question. <laughs> Not nearly that high. Uh, ten. Ten. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna point at him, and as he thumbs up, I'm gonna just subtly be like, a three more. I just keep <laughs> my thumb up. <laughs> you dick. <laughs> I don't know. I, I think that might beat everybody's passive. Well, oh, welcome, welcome gets serious when it comes mine. to scamming alcohol out of people. <laughs> mine Actually, is seven. Funnily enough, my dog's passive perception is now 16. Uh, what's um, not what's aware of the content. passive? Because she oh, should have My the passive rate. is 13. Um, okay. Wait, you only have a plus 3 to perception? She doesn't have proficiency. I do, though. Oh, there, aren't, there aren't actually a lot of, like, Clerics um, don't get proficiency backgrounds. And perception. Yeah, and there aren't actually a lot of backgrounds that give it. There's only like one or two. Yeah. Mm. Wait, does my dog have the highest passive perception of anyone here? Does that have the highest perception, period? Yeah. Damn. Probably because it was custom I built won. for it, yeah. It is literally a watchdog, so yeah. <laughs> I could have picked it if I wanted to, because I did go half elf, so I do get to pick, but. He also has 13, but he yeah. has advantage when he's actively looking for stuff. Yeah, so anyway, welcome waters like four drinks on fucking <laughs> on Salazar. <laughs> what a nice gonna... I like him. Hey. Nah, that's fine. I'm gonna cast sending to Kip. But before then, I'm gonna be like, guys, I'm Michael, gonna I'm call. I'm looking at Salva's sheet. It's a 15 wisdom, not a 16. No, her. Her perception uh, bonus is two times my proficiency. Oh, weird. Why is that? Yeah. That's just what says in her stat block. I really gotta look over that fucking class. This is, you got some weird shit with these. I wonder I wonder if they changed anything for the subclasses in Tasha. In the uh, they, maybe. The Seal Defender got a few minor things changed. Um... But it, it more or less cleared up the warding on some of the stuff for the uh, Iron Defender in terms of, like, its bonuses. Hmm. But, yeah. Yeah, perception... Her passive perception is 10 plus 2 times my proficiency bonus. So it's expertise. It's just expertise perception. That's what it is. Yeah, more or less. That's not more or less, Michael. That's exactly what it is. <laughs> uh... That's how you define expertise. Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. So, yeah. So what are you saying, kid? I'm gonna call Kip, because I said that I will call him every now and again. And it's been a while. And I wanna be sure he's okay and the town's okay and they haven't been attacked and stuff. Good idea. 
Oh, by the way, for you, uh, before you get too excited, that help thing we did, only mm -hmm. when you need. Got it. Keep your distance. Oh. Only when I need it. Like, sure. Yes. Okay. Like, not go to, not actually run up. Yeah, to I don't people. run up to somebody. If it happens, it happens. But. Okay. Sure. Good. Okay, All so you just learned enhanced help. <laughs> <laughs> so you have a sending. Yeah, I can sending to Kip. Hey, Kip. You can respond back after I finish. Are you okay? Any more orcs and goblins? Um, we're doing fine over here. Take care. That's it. 25. Okay, you get a response back. <gasps> Oddly, it's good to see you again. Yeah, no orcs or anything. Everything's been good. I mean, everything's been hey, No orcs or anywhere. We've been keeping a lookout, though. But everybody's been really happy and good. And things have been great. And everything's Cut. been good. Cut. <laughs> <laughs> Since you oh. gave him no word limit, he had no idea. <laughs> <laughs> At least two always forget the fucking word limit. I, always, I do keep forgetting. <laughs> I cast it again. And I go. think that was 25 anyway. I, it was hard to keep count. Yeah. Hey. It was meant to him just ramble regardless. We weren't gaining much, it's honestly. It's only 25 words every time. But I'm glad you guys are okay. That's it. Okay. Oh, response back. oh, only 25 words? Well, if that's the case, I should be more careful with my words. Because I tend to talk a lot, a lot. I mean, everybody says so, especially if you have from my Cut. mom and every... <laughs> uh, I can't. What a sweet lad. Um, um, yeah, they're they're fine. Everyone's happy and there haven't been any orcs, so that's nice. All right. Up there. They're keeping a lookout, right? I there better be. Though... I say they, but Kip's like the only warrior of the town. Yeah. Well, the villages are merged, aren't they? I'm sure the Arakaka had some warriors. That's true. Yeah, yeah that one chick yeah. that flew for like three days straight. That was pretty <laughs> badass. If I could fly for three days straight, I don't think I would be able to. No, you wouldn't. It'd be nice to be able to fly. I don't think so. We might have get you, make the sky crowded. <laughs> have you tried oh, flying before, Salazar? I have not, actually. Well, how do you know you can't, then? Oof. Uh... He, he, he steps outside! <laughs> <laughs> and he will jump! Which is gonna be two feet plus... Vertical jumping. Just worthlessly One. turns so around. Three feet into the air and then plants and just goes. Nope, can't do it. <laughs> yeah, nope, doesn't uh, doesn't work. You know what? Well, just one more well, welcome's there. gone back to his his second cup. <laughs> like before, even like waiting to see the outcome of that, he's already turned back around. <laughs> No, I thought I have friends though who can fly. Yeah. Yes. Well, you can look. fly. Yeah, look and fly. Uh, but what were you saying, uh, Archon? What the hell do they look like? Oh, well, I had many friends. Uh, some were sprites and pixies, so they were smaller. And as I used to kind of hold my hands apart, like probably at about six inches to about a foot. Mm -hmm. Uh, others were like Thronovich here, as I kind of give him a little scritchy on my shoulder. And yeah, so there are a few people in my village who could access the skies, so to speak. How the hell are the sprites surviving in the Feywild? Same as I. Grew up in a nice little village. Well, yeah, but they're easy to crush, aren't they? A little bit more nimble than you would give them credit for, but um, mm. nice. they're hard to hit too because they're really small. But um, it's also, you know, 
good to note that we're not just going around hitting random people. <laughs> yeah, hard. I'm just... I mean, I heard tales of the Feywild. It's not a great place, so... Maybe one day I can learn a spell that can send us there. Why? Uh... Well, Salazar needs to get home, right? I do. I'm mm. working on that a bit, but... Uh, if you could provide such assistance, I would surely take it. Maybe. It just seems like a really useful thing to go to a different dimension. Well, if this one's fucked, you know? Oh, sorry, fudged up. Thank you. But it's not a dimension, it's a plane. A dimension would inquire that there is some other form of, uh, well, dimension. Right. I meant plane. I don't get it. Oh, well, so the idea is that the universe is, like, the worlds that make up our universe are stacked on top of each other. In a way, or kind of coexist, but only, how do I explain this? So, think of them as being separated in space and time only by fractions, little tiny moments in a second or in a space, but they overlap and never connect. So, like, plates on top of each other. Yes, this is a good way of, of analogy. So, so, for example, with the Feywild, you could consider that the plate on top of your prime material plane. And there are certain ways to get through cracks, so to speak. Some places are supposedly linked uh, forever, while you can sort of create temporary tunnels to and from. Mm. And that's what you did to get here, yeah? Yes. Mm. But it closed on you? Uh, so think of it not so much... So for my example, it's not so much as a tunnel as it is getting uh, hur uh, hurtled through the interdimensional planes and uh, through reality itself. Yikes. You had an interdimensional accident. No, I did that on purpose. It was just uh, more of a rough landing. Oof, well, hmm. I hope you can get back. Yeah, me too. <laughs> uh, boy. But I am sure, I'm confident that I can figure it out again. I've done it once. Already. Well, welcome to the fucking club. <laughs> I have faith in myself. And I'm sure if at least would continue to help me. I'm sure we could figure it out. He is, a, he is an intelligent individual. Julie. Create a path from the stars. It'll be fine. God, imagine willingly throwing an, a spanner into an engine and still believing it'll work. <laughs> hey, oh, this I, is a magic spanner. Hey, I may be a little... I may be, you know, not in my youth anymore, but I still have a few tricks up my sleeve. How Wait. old are you, anyway? Yeah. Um... Oh god, do you not know? I don't know. Hmm. How do you not know your own age? They don't... Isn't the Feywild like perpetually in twilight, so you can't really tell the day? Well, actually, can't uh, measure? Well, not all of the Feywild, but my home was, yes. Um... My home was a little different from the other places of the Feywild. Uh, I'll show you explain this. So imagine that time is like a river. It flows. Yes, consistently. But where I come from, time ebbs and flows, and everyone has their own sort of river of time. Their own flow. So, for example, the trees will produce fruit, but it will not be... It will not be consistent. They will sometimes grow many bundles of fruit in a short moment, 
while other moments will be much longer. And this applies to the people there too. For example, for example, uh, I spent many moments in my youth, but uh, I spent very few moments in my what you would call adolescence. Uh, for example, so people there can experience uh, increased rates of growth or decreased rates of growth at seemingly random intervals. Hmm. And so it goes with the wind, the rivers, the trees, everyone, everything. Wouldn't want to be there. Is it ever getting like crazy? Extreme. On the rare occasions, yes, I have um, seen people. So what? What's it grow. like in a, in a plane that's just constant? It's strange. Um, I had a grasp on things like, unlike many of my home, I had a grasp on things like uh, seconds, minutes, hours uh, before coming here, but experiencing it for myself on a daily measure and seeing the world shift in a constant rate is all inspiring in a way. It's, in, it's sort of a I don't know. Bittersweet call. Yeah, I guess. It is very nice, though, to uh, see stars. I was... Speaking of time, oh, I need to go and do my thing today. Uh, Salazar pulls out his uh, stopwatch and is like, uh, it's, you still have another hour before usually go, but and he puts it away. Oh, okay. Nice. That's not much a uh, pocket watch, but anyway. Yes, uh, but no. It's still for an extra hour. Yeah, no, <laughs> um, this place is interesting to me for many ways, but it's very interesting to see how you all how you all sort of use this consistency to your advantage. Yeah, it's part of it. It's a general custom to, uh, when you're out of uh, town, a safe place or something like that, you start making camp. Maybe an hour, half an hour before sunset. If you're doing it at sunset, you're doing it wrong. It's also strange to me that you are sort of bound by schedules for when to eat and when to rest. Back where I come from, you just do it whenever the need arises. Well, it kind of used to be that way for me, and still kind of is, but... Yeah. If you want to keep a uh, consistent time on the skies, you gotta wake up early. It also depends how you went about your daily life. So I lived on a farm, so we were always up early. What's funny is that people at uh, my home would uh, often be on different sort of sleep schedules, I guess you could say. And so, you're not always going to be up at the same time as everyone else is. <laughs> Which kind of made uh, business... well, not business, but uh, it kind of made coordinating with everyone a little more difficult at times. Mm, sounds kind of nice aside from that. <laughs> it was a very beautiful and peaceful place. Eternally bathed in the light of twilight. Hmm. I miss it. I'm guessing nature is kind of weird there. Well, not weird for you. <laughs> I was about to say, that is all another perspective. But, um, uh, it is different. Um, my home was in the middle of a woods. Um, we didn't really go out and into the woods too often. Some did, um, because there are, of course, hunters and there are gatherers, but uh, we did have our farms and whatnot and gardens that produce much of what we hate. Uh, but sometimes something from the woods would wander a little close to town and it was up to 
uh, men like my father to go take care of such things. Hmm. So not everyone was a hunter? No, 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 no. Very few, actually. Um, hmm. Many of the people in my village were more craft people. My mother, for instance, taught me everything I know about uh, weaving and cloth making. Because if you have all the time in the world, you gotta have a hobby. <laughs> have you... Have you had visitors from the material plane there? Uh, actually, on uh, once, yes. Oh. What were How'd they like? Go? Yeah. His name was Cass. He was a good man. A human. Hmm. Was he lost? No way, yes. Uh, he had been experimenting with magics, uh, much like the ones that brought me here. Uh, and it sent him in, well, it sent him to the woods at first, but he was able to swiftly find our village before he got hurt. And there he just sort of remained for a good time. He and I actually were good friends, and he taught me much of what I know about uh, mechanic, or as always puts it. Uh, object Mancy. Yes. He and I were close. He told me much about this place, actually. Uh, not here specifically, but uh, the Prime Interior Plane and some of the. what it was like in some ways, but. Mm -hmm. he, what? His words? Well, gave me a good baseline. I could not describe some of the amazing things I've seen so far. Is he still yeah, there? I usually can do that. Uh. No, uh, he's not there anymore. Oh. Oh, he's back home? Well, that's good. Yeah. He's back home. Raises an eyebrow. Insight check! <laughs> <laughs> Insight... Check! Uh, yeah! <laughs> Eight. Cool. <laughs> Uh, it's hard to tell. Yeah, I mean, you believe him. <laughs> yeah. I bet, Dan, d -Rail. I bet it's Silver. He turned him into a dog. <laughs> Great idea! I love it! I love where you're going from! Uh, oh my god! That's a pretty good idea for a battlesmith. I accidentally turned someone I cared about into my mechanical construct. <laughs> but anyway. Um, yeah. Uh, did anyone else want to inside check that, or am I good? Nah, Can you just kind of ask him? Enough. Can't you just ask him to send you back if he got there before? Mm, I don't know where he is, unfortunately. I know he oh, got okay. back. I know he got back, but um, I do not know where he is. At the was moment. he there long, or did you just send him back? Oh no, he was there for a... He was good. He was there for a... Long time, or I assume so anyway. Many moments. Well, if he was human, it's most likely he's in Mardonia. Well, that's the thing. I don't wow. know. Where, I do not know where our um, where our circle sent him. I'm a fucking dragonborn. I'm not a compass. Wait, wait, wait! Don't people say that sometimes if you come from the Feywild, you forget you're there? Ah. Uh... You were there, rather. Hmm. I have not thought of this, but, um... That's, is that something that sounds familiar to me? What was that? Alias had basically brought up that, uh... The memory like, loss of going through the Feywilds and coming oh, like back, coming the back chance from of it. the Feywild. I mean, none of you would be aware of that because nobody's been traveling through the Feywild. I don't know if Maybe I'm you ready. haven't heaved, I'll but take I it did that last weekend. Know anything about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, you guys aren't aware of it. Like I said, farewell travel is not common by any means anymore. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's a des it's a desolate wasteland. Nobody does it anymore. <laughs> so I'm assuming then Alias does not say that. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I don't say that. Okay. Uh, I'm sure he'll be fine. He'll have like the answer probably. If you can find him. <gasps> can you describe him for me? And I'll try and send a message. My last message of the day. Oh, uh, sure. 
Um, is that a good idea? That's <laughs> probably a terrible idea. I mean, Never don't mind. you want to know the person for that to work? I mean, I can try. It might just get somebody else. I mean, hmm. he's a human, so if he is in Mardo and he is powerful, who knows what kind of circles he's in. Oh, I wouldn't, hmm. I wouldn't say he's a... Or at least to my knowledge, he's not... Uh, doesn't have the connections such as that, but... Um, hmm. sure Did he say he didn't? Uh, he just said he worked all... Like, he was kind of like a arcane sort of tinkerer such as myself. Uh, he spent much of his time sort of making his new inventions and doing something he called patenting them. No, it's just uh, making sure people can't steal your idea and make money from it. Yes, yes, he explained the concept to me. It's mm. a little strange to me, but um, it's apparently how he made his living. But um, yes, uh, as for what he looked like, he was tan of skin. Um, he had black, he had black hair that he sort of kept short, like, like not shaved but like a little longer than that. Piercing blue eyes. He often wore gold uh, necklaces and jewelry around his arms and fingers and neck. And well, not. And while he had liked to have metal, uh, like he liked to sometimes wear metal when he was working on more dangerous things, he mainly stuck more to uh, purple silk clothing and sort of cloth shoes. Oh. He was a yeah, I don't think that's enough for me to go on. But he looks pretty cool in my head. <laughs> <laughs> he was pretty cool. Hey, to endorse this, but you got some illusion magic. Uh, That's actually an idea. Uh, you could try and like draw what he looked like, right? I'm not much of an artist, but I can give it a shot. You work with schematics, don't you? I do, I do, but it's a little different when you're working on a grid and- On a people, on a person. People are a bit more- Fair enough. As long as it stays, this is to say, people are a bit more complicated. Well, for <sighs> shapes, same thing. Yeah. I know, he's well, if you want to know what Archon looks like, I can just create a major image of him smiling. What were you saying, Michael? I'm kick you. Can I attempt to draw, Cass? Uh, do you have any proficiency with painting or drawing? Nope. <laughs> I suppose you could make me a straight dex. Who, who are you trying to draw? Ka? Cass. Cass. Uh, friend. Someone no, friend. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I guess you could draw. Just throw me a basic dex. I still don't think this is a good idea. Uh, I mean, you, you got a general shape to it. <laughs> Wait, as I as I'm like finishing up, I just I just do that thing where I just slap my hand to my forehead. I'm like, oh, I'm an idiot. No, don't say that. No, I am. <laughs> <laughs> I just pull out my uh, pocket watch and I open it up, and there is a. There is a uh, picture of Salazar and Cass kind of like close to each other there, and you see, as described before you. Uh, oh. Yeah. This is a. <laughs> this is also a younger looking Salazar. Like the gray isn't in his hair anymore, and his features are a little less heavy. Cool. I'm actually concerned of following through with this plan. Well, if you're having issues, then don't fucking do it. <laughs> oh, um, it looks really nice. Oh. You look. You guys look like you're having fun. <laughs> he was one of the greatest people I've ever known. Do you hmm. want me to try and talk to him? D 
just so you guys know, when I use the word familiar with, you have to have met, have to met don't them. Count. I don't use the picture bullshit. That's fine. That's mm, that's that's a, fine. that's a that's a Matt Mercer thing I don't agree with because by that standard, you look at any that spell could be used by anybody looking at someone's pictures. Like, ah, I now I am familiar with them. I, it's someone you have to have met in my in is my interpretation of that spell. I don't watch anything of Critical Role, so yeah, well, it's, it does. I will say. Uh, okay, I would know defense. that, but I'd still say that. All right. I will say to the defense of this, though, there is a little section in that does mention it's like that does mention it's like if the creature doesn't know you, uh, it doesn't recognize you as a sender. True, but you can have met someone without them knowing you. Like you, you've had to have seen them and met them. That they, they don't have to necessarily know you for it. That's my definition of familiar. Okay. <laughs> I say DM. It's my it's my DM ruling. Uh, it's, no, 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 that's notice, fun. Yeah. I, just, I just wanted to point that out. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know that's in there. I also read that as, and they might not know you. You at least have seen them in real life, not just a picture of them. All right. Um, have I seen this person before? As in, like, do like a they're a famous politician in Mardonia. No, no, they're not. Not like in her. Okay, no. great. Cool. Well, if we find him, we're just walking around. We can just like you know let you know. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, we'll let you know if I um if we find him. I should stars. look at stars now. Yes, yes uh, it's been about an hour. Um, I do appreciate the attempt. That's okay. I low-key just kind of wanted to see if you have, like, a picture of this, like, super cool object master that went to the Feywild. <laughs> he is a super cool guy. Um, yeah, I'm gonna climb onto the roof. Okay. I'll, um, wait, Archon, after, are you gonna be up after I'm done? Probably. Okay, we can have our talk or whatever. Oh, yeah, sure. Okay. i go up to the roof, do my thing, whatever. Okay. I'll just wait for him in the lobby in the meantime. Anybody else doing anything else before they head to bed? Yep, Tal is going to head to the uh, stables to check on Alpine and Oliver's horse that was abandoned and left to us. <laughs> okay. Sentinel, like, just does his thing where he just stares at you as you walk in. I I'll say as you do that, <laughs> as you walk I'll in. I'll give him <laughs> As you walk in, tell you just notice that Bandit's kind of dead, jumping into little hair b hay bales. Uh, Sentinel is satisfied with your um, offering and goes back to doing normal horse things. <laughs> <laughs> um, and while Tell does that, Welcome's going to um pay to fill up his travel travel keg. Not not on Salazar's dime. He's actually paying for it himself. <laughs> Take hot shit cold to fill it back up to full. Uh, I'll cop that. I will go and also pay for Wilkram's four drinks, not knowing that <laughs> I've just paid for four drinks. <laughs> that, so you're, you're, you're paying a silver. Okay. I mean, and I'll, <laughs> and I'll get one for myself. <laughs> Another three copper. <laughs> oh god, now I have to. Now I, hold, now I have copper! <laughs> Welcome to the fact that most things in D&D &D do not cost gold. I know, and it's good for us. I acknowledge this, but ew, <laughs> copper. Anyway. Uh -huh. That's why I'm okay, like, keeping all my copper. Like, <laughs> uh, yeah. This is not a Salazar thing, this is a me thing, but mm. uh, Salazar will just, as he's just said, uh, as he gets his own drink, he's just gonna sit at the bar and just kind of. He just think, looks like he's thinking. Bro, can y'all believe that Michael is fucking fantasy classist? What? Right. Ew, a what copper a paint! Copper. <laughs> that Ew. shit away from me! <laughs> I do not buy something if it is less than a silver. Uh... Keep the change, peasant! <laughs> listen, listen. 
Copper represents the worst state you can be in, alright? It's not even <laughs> ill Electrum. <laughs> I'll take Electrum, alright? I will take Electrum. Wow. I like how Salazar just doesn't know money from the fucking back of his head, and Michael is just, oh, <laughs> money! <laughs> 300 gold, Michael. That's what he's charging you for the next drink. Uh, All right. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh my god! You can see a born sucker when he when you walk in. Uh, any. <laughs> Uh, so you guys are grabbing your drinks. Uh, tell that you're with your animals. Um, Archon, you're waiting. Uh, welcome. What were you doing? Just filling, just paying to get my keg filled up. That's all he's doing. Okay, and then you guys are heading off to your beds. Yeah. And hey, okay, Atlas, you finish your star charts and you wander down where you see Archon. I come back down, so refreshed. What a pretty sight. <laughs> Clear skies today, I assume. Yeah, it was a nice night. Yeah, come back down. Hey. Is Welcome still around? Um. Yeah, probably. I mean, he'd probably be. He's not asleep yet. Hmm. Just doing pre bed things. <laughs> hey. Come on, sit down. Okay. I sit. So we got to talk about the obvious. Oh no. Um I'm not actually every time somebody says that I never know what they mean. But how do you not know what I Okay, the the, the ice fairy. Right. Yeah. Oh, immediately like <laughs> don't <laughs> immediately okay, okay. panics. Okay, okay, okay. Yep, it's yep, just... yep. We're having a conversation, kid. Shield hello. Hey, welcome. You hear this? Yeah, I'm listening. All right. You got to sure. make a decision whether that decision's yes, no, or maybe. And I'm not letting you walk away from this without uh, without doing that. So, what are you thinking? Um. Oh. Oh God. Um. Look, she's... the lizard's got, lizard's got a point. Doesn't seem like she's interested in being friends with benefits. Oh, I. What does that mean? I always think it's like they pay stuff for you. No, that's but just people being have said that too. Is it a sex thing again? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh. With with Cilantro? By the way, welcome. It's usually this hard to get him to talk. So yeah, just Look, there's a bunch of ways you can go with this. It all depends on you. You're the one making the choice. What what do you mean there's a bunch of ways? Like I'm saying it's your choice. How do you feel? And I'm asking you that honestly. I feel I feel oh God, I feel weird. Scared, aren't you? I I I'm there's like What else is new? Like a tingly feeling? Like here and then kind of like gestures around the just his torso it's like heart and stomach it does a figure eight between those two so that's how the abject fucking terror actual like like i had very good feelings so i think I think I, I think I like her, but it, she's she's so cute and pretty. <laughs> but she tried to kill all of you, and well, that's the same. 
I know you're pissed off, Welcome, but... Look, I didn't get anywhere just by being a big fucking muscle-bound dumbass. I watch people. Ah, I read them. Could afford me. Shut up. <laughs> and that chick we fought back up there, this ain't the same person. She looks the same. Guess she's the same person, but they're nothing alike. Anything from uh, the way she even looks at you or the rest of us. I was expecting to get in a fight with her. She didn't give me a look. Do you... Do you think she... Do you think she likes me? I think she uh, does. Are you fucking likes. kidding me? <laughs> She's obsessed with you. Even I could tell that. She didn't even fucking glance at Telethor. Oh, but like, kid. Every time you said something, every time we said something, her immediate concern was whether you would fucking want it to happen. Mm -hmm. Frankly, that's not even healthy. I don't know what this fucking no. if that's normal in the Feywilds, Probably but for like is. the people, that's not a healthy way to be. Yeah. I don't want to... I don't want to go about it like... Like I'm using her. I don't want to... I don't want to do that. And... I mean, I... I, I, I like her, but if that's what... How this is gonna go, then I'd rather not, right? I mean, look, kid, you say no, she's gonna, well, weird shit to say, but she's gonna respect you. You say no, she's gonna listen. You say yes, yeah, she's gonna listen. So. And I'm talking about that, like, I don't think she knows how to use gold. I think it's about as good as cells are in that case. But I think that's a fail. If you don't want to do thing. something, all you gotta do is say no. She likes you, kid. She likes you a lot. I think she'd be real fucking happy with you, no matter what you did. The question is whether you'd be happy with her. I don't know if I'd be happy if she. is just always at my beck and call like like that doesn't seem like a nice relationship I wanna be an I wanna be a, in a nice relationship I don't wanna be like there's stories I hear in the bar. Yeah, those don't always end well too, but... I don't want to, like, make her angry. And then she will try and kill everyone. But I guess that proves the point that if she does do that, then it's not really healthy either, right? I just want it all to work out. You want my opinion? Yeah. The fact that you're hesitating tells you everything you need to know about what your decision should be. Okay. Well, she's obsessed enough with you that you can keep putting her off. Even if that is mean. Don't wanna do that. She's like a super powerful ancient fey lady. I'm sure she has better use of her time than just obsessing over me. What mm -hmm. she can do once she, you know, gets over me. Thing is, she's fey, right? 
Everything about her change is based on how she feels. That's what Zelda I said, anyway. So, I'm not right. sure what's gonna happen. If that happens. I don't think Elvor should have done it. I'm not really that good of a kiss, so. I'm flattered that she was like, that's all I could think about this whole time, but that's worrisome. Yeah, it is. But if there's anything I got from what she was saying is that you gave a shit, so that's the first step I got. Not that I know shit about relationships, but... Do you remember... Our, our talk before then, like as a group? When it happened, before it happened, when Alvor was telling me, you know, giving me the pep talk. Yeah. I thought that to really save that, um, to really save that kid for this super legendary flower, right? Like I had to really give my all for this one moment right so she'd be satisfied and would like trade it that's what i thought that's what i did but then the whole charm thing happened and like i said afterwards I feel like I still have feelings for her, but I'm not sure. I don't think I can ever be sure that it's me and not some like residual magic thingy or whatever. Hmm. Wish I could say a kid, but I don't know shit about charms. Yeah, I have. I don't have any enchant spells either. <sighs> also, fey magic's like extra weird. Even then. Yeah. So I guess I shouldn't. So, uh, looking at her, I don't think she's gonna do anything if uh, you say no. But I can't be sure. On the upside, if she does flip out, well, we got an entire, uh, well, right now we got an entire military town with us. So that's good. You want me to do it now? No, no, just when she shows up. I don't know when We're the season changing is, but. It's around, well, do I know, Heath, when the seasons change? I mean, at this point, you're looking at uh, month, month and a half. It's like in a month, month and a half-ish. That was some good time. It was so sure sudden, you know? I was really, like, angry at her. For all of that nonsense that happened. And then she comes back just out of the blue and acts like a completely different person than one what we knew of her. See, what gets me is that she didn't know what magic did that, people. That's just fucking weird. How could you not know? I mean, I... Until people were like, wow, halflings were, like... Lucky or something and like my master was very interested in that. I thought that was just like a thing. I didn't know that was like Real I assume it is now You're one of the luckiest fucking people I know good Whether that's the halfling thing or not, I don't fucking know Yeah, that's what I mean Right like 
I think it's you can do something and you be not aware that you're doing it and that kind of sucks. Yeah, that doesn't that's... make any like appraisal of her easier. Fucking weird if she just thought people liked her. Hmm. Oh well, we're here now. Well, I have a month. Maybe a half. You got all I mean, that time. Yeah, had to think about it. Yeah. Honestly, I'm just trying to make sure you ain't trying to weasel your way out of it. No. I don't think I ever could, Archon. Hmm. She said it like... She sensed me and then like... She followed it and then she got whisked over here. Or something? I think it was the fabric. Some shit like that. Maybe I'm wrong and that was just me. We, we, we don't have that anymore. No, yeah. I don't know. So I don't think I could get away from it even if I wanted to. Mm. I was Instead expecting one hell of a fight. Me Didn't too. Uh, when Wilkram... Leg... Got, you know... I did... I did think about getting her to fix him. Yeah. But I felt it felt wrong. It felt like I was using her. I guess. I ain't that into the whole social thing. So if someone's happy to do it and they're really happy, well. Does it matter? I think it does. I don't know, kid. Love is beyond me. Oh. I don't know, welcome. You're like, what, five times over age? You got something. I mean, I'm just here for the ride at this point. Hmm. Wish I could be. Look, I put my two cents in. <clears throat> I could say more, but at what point is it going to be me making the decision versus Oddlius making the decision? Yeah. So you got your time, kid. That's it. And I'm yeah, I think it should have been out war doing that shit, but. He said he's kissed someone before. Mm -hmm. He would have done a better job. Man. He's right, though. A kiss is pretty magical. I mean, she's literally a fairy, so... Yeah, but... That was... Even after the thing that John wore of, that was nice. But yeah, I can never be sure. Guess I can't. 
Well, you got time. Just don't waste and you'll be fine. Yeah. You know what would suck, though, is if I died before the season ended? Oh, no, you, you ain't dying. Okay. And also, I don't think we're here for, the like, in a month. I'm more worried that in a month's time at the capital... They might be far away? I, mean, I don't want to, like, you know, subject the capital, the person who might, who can probably save me from, you know, dying from this alchemy thing, to be subjected to, like, you know, a fae going ramp rampant. Yeah. Or, we'll be the heroes that defeated a crazy fae going rampant in the city. Well, it'll definitely draw attention, that's for sure. I just I'll see how it shakes up. I hope that doesn't... ...happen. I think it's better than being out in the middle of nowhere. There's gotta be guards around. A lot of guards. Okay, well, I'll think about it. Thanks, guys. Yeah, I mean, that's all I want from you. Just think about it. That's it. Look, don't drive it's yourself a... crazy. That never really works. It's a problem for another day. But when that day comes, you have to be confident in your decision. No humming and hawing. Okay. Alright, and he's gonna stand up. Good day trading today, by the way. Thanks. Thank you for teaching me that. Mm. You did good. Gives a weak smile. Welcome, just kind of like... Looks at Archon, like a compliment from him? <laughs> <laughs> Archon walks away. Mm. Not me? <laughs> okay. That's a first. So you guys head off to your beds. I'm assuming at this point. Mm-hmm. Uh, Dolby, once again, it's a shared communal place, so you just go lie down in your cots. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one more fucking night. Uh, Deb, I, I'm assuming Tel Telitha went to bed as well? Yep, I did. After tending to the animals. Did you bring Bandit with you out of curiosity? <laughs> no, Bandit would still be in the stables. Noted. Look, Tel oh, might maybe a rule bait break up, but even she's not gonna fucking break the rules in a military town. <laughs> <laughs> All right, He's so just next to uh, Sentinel the Magical Unicorn. Yeah. So you guys <laughs> go to sleep uh, for those you can and when morning comes uh, it is an uneventful night in your inn as you guys get, your, get yourselves gathered together uh, waking up those of you who need to wake up at least probably needing a little extra shove yes. <laughs> I sleep in again. <sighs> I try to smother him in the process. Get the fuck up, man! <laughs> I'm pretty sure that it goes easier if you do not put the pillow on pillow. But Actually, it usually does go easier. Get up! I sleep forever. <laughs> I, I can I avoid my up. problems by dying. I just I just poke Atlius in the face and I'm like, Atlius. Oh, Leas. Oh, Leas. Uh, Hold on. I'm going to do the motherly thing. I'm going to swipe his blanket. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Come on. It's time to rise. 
What time is it? Uh, I grab my pocket watch. What time is it? It's like nine. Uh, ah, it's an hour earlier than you say. Roughly. No. Oh, go give me another hour. Come on, as I as I go to just pick him up. Come on. I'll swipe the pillow next. I, 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 I already picked him up. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not making this awesome. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, I'm just carrying you at this point. Come on. <laughs> Welcome, Welcome to the gear. Welcome to the watches from across the room. <laughs> Come on, sleepyhead. It's time to rise and shine, as they say here. Grabs his backpack, oh, yeah. shoves it at Welcome. You're the babysitter. Welcome just kind of like looks at it. I don't know, it seems like you got more arm space to hold that. <laughs> Rolls his eyes. Do you want to take a ride on Silver? He just starts walking. Welcome, um, oh, grabs his own pack and then, like, picks up the fucking lance that's like twice his height. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just like, can't believe that fucking lizard thought I was gonna carry that shit. And then you just need another cup of pure coffee. Okay, we'll get you your coffee. As I just kinda, as I just give you a pat on the back. Okay. <laughs> you guys, grab your breakfast. Get yourselves put together. Uh, okay, when you're ready, you can head towards the entrance to the mountains. Oh, and oh coffee. Yeah. I, I am, I am going to switch out one of my active infusions. I am okay. dismantling. I am going to turn off uh, Dronovich for now, and I will instead have goggles of night vision. Okay. Yeah, let's just. Put the deactivated Drenovich in Akon's pack. He won't even notice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, yeah, yeah. nah I carry my own things. Don't worry. I'll punt that thing. Don't. Um. <laughs> Ten. One, two, three, four. One, two, Athletics three. check. No. Um. Uh, yeah. hey, don't we need a? Uh... <laughs> right through a window. Uh, don't we need a? Um. Sorry, like papers of recommendation or something like that, or is it just go when ready? Uh, you were basically told you would go when you're ready because there'd be someone meeting for meeting you there. Okay. Yeah, that's cool. why we were told two days to wait. Gotcha. Um, yeah, what I'm gonna do with Welcome is he's gonna, um, basically mount the, um, the lance on Sentinel's saddle so he doesn't have to carry it around with him everywhere. Okay. Okay. Cool, I've done my prepared spells for the day. Actually, what? No, I'm actually... Scratch that, I'm not making goggles in night vision, I'm going to make, um... I'm gonna... Ah, I'm gonna keep drawing a bitch, I'm sorry. Uh, on the way, just for the heck of it, just to say I have it, I'm gonna buy, like, a... A heavy cloth, like, the size of the shield, or the face of it, to... Make sure I can cover it when I want to. Okay. One second, guys. I also doing one other thing, but in either case, we can get started when you guys are ready. Yeah. yeah. Ready. Also. Awesome. Hmm. Yeah, we're ready to go. Okay, so you so guys, we should be all set. Yeah, head down there where you see the uh, captain waiting for you. Oh, you're all uh, here finally. I'll tell you. Really good. So, uh, if you're prepared, you can uh, head down through the tunnels, and uh, it'll take you a few couple of days to uh, get to the uh, Dwarven lands. Uh, obviously, half our half is our territory, and their half is theirs. Uh, just make sure that uh, you be careful, as we mentioned before. There may be a breach to the Underdark over there. Yeah, we'll keep that in mind. If we find anything out, we'll be sure to let you know on the way back. So, is there any easy way to tell Durgar from... Dwarves. Make sure they're yeah, under fire. Dragar blue and mean. I think you put your hospitality. No, oh, quite well, right. No, oh, jolly ch ch good, and I'll see you later. 
Right, off we go. Right, so you guys head down into the Underdark. The Dark pa or the, well, the, not the Underdark, but you know, the caves. Hmm. Wandering through the street areas, move, making your way along, and as you descend into the darkness, we'll end it there for tonight. I think it's a good spot to go.